Okay, hey guys, this video is on surface area of triangular pyramids. So just like the square pyramids, we do not have a formula to use, so we're just going to use the net. So here is a triangular pyramid. We know that because the base is a triangle. So when it comes to the base that is a triangle so if they just tell you that one side of the triangle let's say they say six feet and that's the only measurement of the base that they give you they're kind of making you assume which i know i don't like to assume but they're making you assume that each side of the triangle is equal and that all of them are six feet okay so if they only give you one measurement you just have to assume that they're all going to be the same so let's say that they give you one side is six feet. So say that's like the base of that triangle. But then they also tell you that this side right here of the base is seven feet. And leave this one blank. This is going to be another instance where you need to assume. So if they ever tell you the base is different than another side length, the other side length is just going to be seven as well okay so the other two sides beside the base are going to be equal and then the base is just a different measurement of the base triangle so i'm going to show you in a second what that looks like um one more thing the height of these are all the same so remember how we talked about in a square pyramid that all the faces that make up the sides besides the base they all have the same height because they're all coming from the same tip at the top or point at the top, okay? So keep that in mind when we're doing this. So here is my triangular pyramid. So this is an instance where they only give you one side of the triangle, that's the base, because here's the base right here. And they only tell you the one side is six feet. So that just means that these are also six feet making you assume so i like to always find the base triangle first so these are all going to be triangles so we're all going to use the same formula area equals one half times the base times the height so in this situation the base is six and then the height is seven feet so area equals one half times six times seven Half of six is three. Three times seven is 21 square feet. So this here is 21. Now for the other triangular faces that would meet at the point at the top. So if I'm looking at this triangle right here. I need to do one half times the base times the height base of this one is six feet we get that from right here and then the height they tell us is 10 feet area equals one half times six times ten half of six is three three times ten is 30 square feet Oh, that was squared. My bad. So 30 for this one. So if you look at the other two triangular faces that meet at the point, we know they all have the height of 10 because they all meet at the same point. But if you also think about their bases, we just talked about how if they only give you one measurement in the triangle, these are all six feet. Six feet. So they all have the same exact height. These three right here have the same height and the same base. So you're going to get the same area for all of those. That's not the case for every triangular pyramid, but for this example, it's easy on us. And these are also 30 as well. So now I know all of the areas of my net faces. So we can do 30 times three to get 90 for the faces that meet at the point. And then our base was 21, so 90 plus 21 is 111 square feet, okay? Um, so let me give you an example that's going to be a little bit different. 
So in this case, if we look at just our base here, this is where um, we have a base length of 10 and then the other two sides are a different measurement. So this one's gonna look a little bit different. So we're gonna start with the base. So area is one half times the base times the height. So looking at the base, here is the height right here, which they tell us is six inches. And then remember the height always makes a right angle with the base, which is this length right here, which they tell us is 10. So area equals one half times 10 times six. Half of 10 is five. Five times six is 30 square inches. Okay, so this guy in the middle is 30. So now each triangle we have to do, and if you wanna do each triangle separately and kind of write down what you know of each triangle, go for it if that helps you stay organized. So we know all of the heights of each triangle that meet at the point are gonna be eight, so we know that's the same. Okay, so now um, you kind of just do whatever one you want to do. Um, I do notice that this base of this triangle is the same eight inches as this one over here. So I could just do one of those and then I know both of those. So let's tackle that first. So area equals one half times base times height. In this situation, the base is our eight inches and our height is actually eight as well. So area equals one half times eight times eight. Half of eight is four. Four times eight is 32 square inches. So we know this is 32. And then this one is also 32. So it doesn't work for this one. You can't say that they're the same because this one has a base of 10 and a height of eight. So this one's gonna be different. So we need to do this one separately. So area equals one half times base times height because we're still doing a triangle. The base is our 10, height is eight. So area equals one half times 10 times eight. Half of 10 is five. Five times eight is 40 square inches. So we know this one's 40. So I'm going to add all of those up to find my total surface area. So 32, 32, 30 and 40. So 134 square inches is what you should get. Okay, um, so you have a practice to do now. Please let me know if you have any.